Wouldn't it be great if you could have all of these that you had during your youth forever? Imagine the knowledge you could gain with all those years without losing your fair health and life. How powerful could a human turn out to be? Hmm? This isn't going to be science fiction anymore, and we are nearing an age where eternal life could be possible. Yes, this will be the real fountain of youth, and the only question that remains before us is, will it be practical? Well, it is theoretically. With almost $7.6 trillion investment ready to be invested in science and technology, will we achieve eternal life or longevity? Let's see in today's episode. Hey folks, welcome back, and you're watching Future Tech Eden. What are you guys waiting for? Like, share and subscribe! In recent years, research into longevity and health aging have advanced fast, yet significant public and media interest have produced an intense atmosphere in which false claims can be difficult to distinguish from scientific realities. So, in today's episode we'll look at if scientifically longevity is possible, how much it will cost and whether everyone will be able to have their hands on one if it is commercialized. Numerous universities conduct research in this specific field, and there are great improvements in this. Well, nothing went wasted. One of them was Jun Yun, who is a hedge fund manager in Palo Alto, the hub of Silicon Valley, performing a back-of-the-envelope calculation. According to US Social Security data, the likelihood of a 25-year-old dying before reaching the age of 26 is 0.1%. He continues that if we could maintain that risk constant throughout life, rather than growing due to age-related illnesses, the average person would live 1,000 years. He essentially finds the possibility enticing and even plausible. Late last year, he announced a $1 million incentive for scientists to contract the code of life and extend human life beyond its apparent limit of roughly 120 years, which is the oldest known or confirmed lifespan, which was 122 years. Well, looking at his idea, it is quite digestible. It is achievable to address the problem of aging and enable people to live healthy lives for an unlimited period of time. His Paolo Alto Longevity Prize, for which 15 research teams have already applied, will be granted in the first instance of restoring vitality and prolonging longevity in mice by 50%. However, Yun has huge funds and intends to put up more money for progressively larger achievements. As we said before, this would be a modern version of the age-old goal of finding the fountain of youth, and it exemplifies Silicon Valley's present desire to disturb mortality. That's just about Yun. What about others? In reality, billionaires and corporations are intensely optimistic about their prospects. Calico is a great example of this. Calico, which is short for California Life Company, was unveiled by Google in September 2013. Its objective was and still is to design therapies that enable individuals to live longer and better lives by reverse engineering the biology that determines longevity. Though the new biotech business is shrouded in obscurity, it appears to be working on age-defying medications. It hired Cynthia Kenyon in April 2014, a scientist known for genetically engineering roundworms to live up to six times longer than usual and who has shown a desire to adopt her discoveries to humans. According to one of the experts, the increase in the lifetime would be equivalent of a human living for 400 or 500 years. The study is based on the discovery of two major aging pathways in C. elegans, a popular model in aging research because it shares many genes with humans, and because it's the short lifespan of three to four weeks which allows scientists to quickly assess the effects of genetic and environmental interventions to extend healthy lifespan. These pathways have been the focus of much investigation because they are conserved, which means they have been handed down to humans via evolution. A variety of drugs that modify these pathways to lengthen a healthy lifespan are now in development. The finding of the synergistic impact paves the way for ever more potent anti-aging treatments. The latest study used a double mutant with genetically altered insulin signaling and TOR pathways. Because altering the IIS pathways results in a 100% increase in longevity and altering the TOR route results in a 30% increase. The double mutant should live 130% longer, instead its lifetime was multiplied by 500%. In fact, Calico has the funds to accomplish practically anything it wants because it is owned by Google. This, however, was said by Tom Johnson, not by us. Tom was an early pioneer in the subject, currently at the University of Colorado who was the first to discover a genetic influence on warm lifespan. Cool? Hmm. Okay, now we know that it can be done. What about its practicality or how will such a tech benefit us? 
that would be a commoner's question, but this tech would be having bigger impacts rather than just making us younger. Okay, consider your perspective on your independence as you go through life, regardless of your age. The ability to choose a job where you want to live and the lifestyle you want to live. Got it? Now fast forward to the year 1965 and imagine you're 65 years old. So will you now desire the same level of liberty and independence? You bet. This is exactly the thinking of today's baby boomers who have elected to age in place rather than move to a retirement home or community. Moving into a retirement home may be out of the question with the current pandemic afflicting the elderly. The arrival of Calico and others shows that the world was warning to their cause. There are also a growing number of people who recognize that the notion of effective anti-aging drugs will be the largest industry ever created by a wide margin and that it may be predictable. Galico isn't the only firm that sees an increase in anti-aging research. The sums invested in anti-aging research by Google founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin, as well as Trump-supporting venture financial Peter Thiel, demonstrate what happens when such concepts made huge money. The Amazon founder and wannabe astronaut Jeff Bezos has already supported an anti-aging setup called Unity Biotechnology and is now apparently a donor to a newly created California firm named Altos Labs through his own investment vehicle Bezos Expeditions. You didn't expect that, did you? The firm is reportedly planning to establish institutes in the United States, the United Kingdom and Japan and is actively recruiting scientists with large paid packages. Their primary goal is to understand rejuvenation, with an emphasis on biological reprogramming technology that manipulates cells. We're not finished yet. Many other firms including BioVivia, Ethereum Genetics, the Longevity Fund and Ajax Therapeutics are also attempting to slow the aging process. Poking through the research and journalism that surrounds what they're doing, you'll get the wag impression that some of the people involved may eventually discover some or other revelation about age-related diseases. But there is usually a sense of fuzzy ideas and money that would be better spent elsewhere. Anti-aging research has a lengthy history, but to the best of our knowledge, no business working on the subject has yet to get any medication to point of decisive clinical trials. By the way, did you know that Shinya Yamanaka, a Japanese scientist, got the Nobel Prize in 2012 for discovering that bathing single cells in our four proteins that may rejuvenate them? However, trying the procedure on mice resulted in some developing cancerous tumors. Radical life extension is no longer the domain of lunatics and science fiction authors. Serious people are conducting research in this area, and serious minds are contemplating it, although financial promises have been minimal in comparison to initial expectations. Billionaires, not only in the technology industry, have long sponsored research into the biology of aging. However, it has mostly been targeted at prolonging health span or the number of years you are free for infirmity or disease rather than longevity, though an apparent outcome is that it would be prolonged as well. After all, those who are healthy have longer lives. So improved health leads to longer life, that's a wonderful thing, but the most essential component is keeping people healthy for as long as possible. Whereas much biomedical research focuses on trying to treat specific diseases such as cancer, experts in this niche sector are looking for something bigger. They look into the specifics of the aging process in order to identify ways to prevent it from happening in the first place, hence avoiding the myriad of diseases that come with it. Life expectancy in affluent nations has climbed from around 47 in 1900 to now 80, owing primarily to breakthroughs in the treatment of childhood disorders. Longer lives, however, come with their own set of problems. Chronic disorders associated with old age such as heart disease, cancer, stroke, and Alzheimer's are more common than ever. So that's a common problem not just across developed nations but in most developing and underdeveloped nations too. Many specialists believe that the traditional medical technique of treating one condition at a time adds to the problem. And by addressing aging at its source, frailty and disability can be reduced by lowering all age-related illnesses risks at the same time. That is a practical approach. Evidence is mounting that this more daring age delaying technique may succeed. Scientists have previously defectively intervened in the aging process in a number of animal species, and experts believe it is possible to do so in humans. We must say that they have truly turned a corner. Five years ago, the scientific opinion was that aging research was fascinating, but unlikely to provide any practical results. 
we have finally reached the stage where it's simple to increase a mouse's lifetime. That is no longer the question. Rather, can we achieve this in humans? We can, when looking aside from ethical values, though. The only issue that could arise with the invention will be, will this treatment or you may call tech be available to common society rather than super rich? That could be worse. Welcome to the era of immortalists, who may include scientists, visionaries and critically billionaires who want us to conceive of age as a treatable sickness and our inevitable end as something that can be postponed endlessly. Why not death if many of them can dodge taxes? Death, isn't dying so anti-inspirational? Anyways, such a scenario could be based on the availability of the drug and most likely such a pill would be scarcely made in the first few years. You could quote this whole idea or process as transhumanism. Well, don't be stunned by the word. The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as a hope that the human race may progress beyond its existing constraints, particularly via the application of science and technology. So we have something right now in our hands. But it's just that it needs to be enhanced. Eternal youth is the stuff of faith and fiction. But having a little more of it would be awesome. A medication that might slow down the ravages of time, allowing you to feel younger for longer. Now you know it's not going to be a science fee storyline, right? It may seem like snake oil, but the rising body of research is betting that it will become a reality. The way science has evolved is amazing and the types of discoveries that have been made are already just so inspiring. Given it's the nature of humans to never stop, this research of hunting down a methodology of increasing lifespan of humans is as expected. No one knows the future of this research. Whether or not will it in the end provide with a practical and implementable solution of extending lifespan of humans. Though it should be risk-free and should not lead humans to further complex disorders. That is a provisional statement. Taking into account that it has been experimented on mice and has worked out fine, there are chances that it may work on humans too, but we are yet to find that out. And undoubtedly, a lot of research time, money, and definitely brain would go into it. Because upon the its experimentation in mice, certain complexities did arise, which means careful research will have to be carried out. I know you are stunned by knowing all this. Use the comments section below to let us know that will you be willing to pay huge sums if extending your lifespan through biotechnology was possible? So. Do you still think the same about these time-slowing pills? With such a huge investment in a topic that might seem like a joke to many. This is some serious game. Wait, this is just about longevity. Don't you guys want to know what China plans for the future? Yes, China has come up with mastering some cool future techs that are going to change the country's face forever. Want to know more? Take a look at our latest episode on China's unexpected plans to master some cool science fee tech. Anyways, please share your thoughts on today's video in the comments area below. That's all we've got for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one while you're at it. Enable post alerts so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads and stay updated with all those fascinating trending topics that we will be discussing on our channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. We hope you had a good time watching the video and got all the information you had been looking for because that's our objective. And we try our best to provide with qualitative information that will certainly increase your knowledge bank substantially. We'll see each other again in the very next video. Until then.